inside and I saw The Boys Season 3, Episode 8. The Instant White Hot Wild. It is directed by Sarah Boyd, written by Logan Ritchie and David Reed. And if you haven't seen this episode, I will spoil it for you. This episode starts and we're following Homelander. Homelander has found Ryan and... What's fun about this, Ryan's going through some things that only maybe a dad could deal with, you know? This mother's dead. So sad. So basically his only living parent is now Homelander. And Homelander's here to teach him a few things that he never learned growing up. And so he's here to be like, here, I have some wisdom for you, you know? And they get a little bit of a closeness, a fondness to each other. And I'm like, all right. I really hope Ryan stays good. He's being influenced by Homelander. Maybe Ryan can sift through his advice and determine what's good or not. I really hope that he can do that. I'm not sure if he has the capacity to do so. He's pretty young, not gonna lie. I'm also worried about Butcher because Butcher's like, oh, well, I've taken the compound V, the temporary V, and I've injected it into my veins and before Huey can take it himself, bam, knock him out, bam, just like leave him there. I'm like, I guess I, that's a way to protect him from the temp V. I, that's cool, I guess. It's kind of a terrible thing to do. You should have been like, hey, Huey got some information from Annie. She said that if you take compound V, the temp stuff, temp V, what it's called, uh, you're going to die within three to five uses of it. It makes your brains and lesions. <laughs> no nope. punch leave them there much simpler than talking and oh man i really like billy butcher this is totally a billy butcher move also speaking of billy butcher billy butcher doesn't really have the hottest relationship with ryan and so ryan is much more inclined to be on homelander's side and you know it's kind of sad seeing homelander have control over Ryan like that and also Ryan deciding to be against Billy Butcher. They have so many fond memories, but it's because Billy Butcher is like, I hate you and I don't ever want to speak to you again. This is why we have Homelander is in possession of your lover's son, okay? And Homelander is going to make him even terribler. And he's much more powerful than Homelander. So this is a dangerous position you put yourself in, Billy Butcher. We got Homelander is confronting Black Noir. And he's like, hey, did you know that Soldier Boy is my father? And he can't really lie because Homelander can tell that he is lying via his heartbeat going brr, 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 bow, faster than his normal bow, 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 heartbeat, you know? And he kills Noir because he did know. Didn't know that Soldier Boy was one, his father, but also knew that Homelander was replacing Soldier Boy. But Homelander doesn't necessarily know that, really. And I'm like, no, we just learned about this complex character, Black Noir, and here we have it. He's just dying, just like the light behind me. You know, you gotta rage against the dying of the light. Ha ha ha. Bow, bow, bow. Just like me in this movie review. As this reveal gets darker, so will the light. And oh my goodness. Oh man, it's just, it just gets so much darker. Maeve escapes, so that's nice. But she's like, yeah, it was Homelander. <laughs> it was Homelander. And everyone's like, yeah, uh, <laughs> we're trying to get him. Can you please help us? And she's like, yeah, sure, I'll help you. Also, the way that she escapes is so awesome. They put her in like this transportation truck, right? Rookie mistake. Put her with like a bunch of soldiers, just regular old human soldiers. And what do you expect? Her to just sit there, let you transport her to a, another place? No, she's gonna beat them all up and escape. And so Homelander hears about this and she, she's going like, bow, 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 and Homelander is like, ah, oh, no, of course she escaped. Why didn't I think about that? Ah, oh, now she's out. <laughs> oh man, Homelander, his energy, his intensity is off the charts. It's like, it, it, just, it just feels like every time I look at Homelander, his face just goes like, Arr! but also his smile is like, <laughs> yeah, I'm really enjoying this. Ugh. He's like a really big smile talker. And the smile is supposed to hide his intensity, his hatred for humanity. 
okay? He really hates humans and thinks that he's, he actually thinks he's better than humans. And I'm like, bring him down. Oh, I need the boys to bring him down. Soldier Boy and Billy Butcher are like, okay, we're gonna go fight Homelander. Soldier Boy is our ticket. Also, I should mention, Soldier Boy took away Maeve's powers in a fight and very stunning and brave of her as the social medias in this in the series would say hashtag stunning and brave i just love that but also we have soldier boy and also we got billy butcher and like oh yeah just go in this room everyone else who isn't us too bow bow lock safe whoo and i'm like oh amazing so they're gonna go and try to fight Homelander alone. Uh, what happened last time? You needed at least three people and that wasn't working at all? Jeez, dude. Also, also, Annie is just able to escape. And she is able to escape and she's able to follow their tail and find them in the middle of a confrontation with Homelander. And guess what? Ryan's there. And now we got the big old battle confrontation thing that's happening. And I'm like, oh my goodness. This is the final match of the third season. Ugh! I'm so excited for season four. What's going to happen to this one? What's going to happen? Is Ryan going to stay with Homelander? Billy Butcher, Annie, Soldier Boy, they do be fighting Homelander. But when they punch Homelander, Ryan steps in and is like, I'm a be a protector. And then Soldier Boy is like, I'm gonna punch you, kid, pow. And I'm like, okay. I mean, I guess it would be the safe thing to do. I mean, he is Homelander's kid, but also Billy Butcher has an attachment. So he starts fighting Soldier Boy and then they all start fighting Soldier Boy. And that pretty much leaves Homelander a good chance to just kind of break the fight group off more individually. And I'm just like, Why'd you do this? Infighting is going to make the enemy more powerful. As shown in this episode, Homelander has Ryan. And not to mention, Ryan wants to be with Homelander. And he gives that creepy smile at the end. He's like, ooh, yeah, I'm like evil. And I'm like, no, don't be evil, Ryan. <laughs> also what's evil, Billy Butcher, because of how many times he's used the Temp V, is now dying. And I'm like, no, Billy Butcher. So you're going to be dying throughout the rest of the se next season. Hmm. I have a prediction that he might either just die with his dignity and his morals and values upholded, which is to not use the compound V, but it's his life. I'm thinking he might take it, but my percentage chance on that is probably like 30%. That's just my prediction. What do you predict for season four? What do you think of season three of the boys? I thought this was awesome. I want to see what Ryan does. Oh my goodness. Ryan is on Homelander's side. No, I really like this episode. It takes all the tension from the all the seasons before it, especially this season, and it takes it, and it takes it, it takes it, it takes it, and it makes it really, really big tension. So when you get to the big old fight at the end, it's like, bam, 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 bam. It releases all of that tension. And then we get some nice resolution to the tension, and then we got some more problems that have occurred now. I want to see what Ryan does. I want to see what Billy Butcher does. And I want to see what the rest of the boys does. I'm really excited for this season of four. The season four. I really like season three. Let me know if you think of season three. What are your predictions for season four? I got to give this episode, it's a solid 7.8 out of 10. If you like this review, watch another one. The platform really likes that. If you want a fast track blue review, you can do that for $20 Dinos at patreon.com slash ASPresents. And if you'd like to help support the daily grindiness of all them daily blue reviews, go to this link tree. By the way, you can help support the daily grind of all them daily blue reviews. So I can go here. And until next time on Min Sao Saw, I'll see you later. My Sao Croutons and Bacon Bits.